Zmai is usually a creature of teriomorphic origin. There are two most common Zmai origin stories. According to the first one, known to the Danube fishermen, when carp is 40 or 50 years old, it turns into Zmai. Carp then gains wings, flies out of the river and goes to his new home, in the woods or mountains. Similar detail can be found also in the Chinese mythology, where it is believed that if a carp swims upstream and jumps over Dragon's Gate, which is located at the top of the waterfall, then it turns into a dragon. According to the second Zmai origin story in Slavic mythology, Esculapian snake morphed into Zmai also when snake reached certain age. A little footnote. Note the similarities between Serbian words for snake and dragon, Zmija and Zmai. Now, to continue, it was believed that if you cut Esculapian snake in half, that does not mean it will die. If it crawls inside a hole, it will definitely turn into Zmai. In some regions, they believe that both versions of origin story could be true. In that case, Zmai, which came out of carp, will cause a lot of rain to fall during one year, and the snake Zmai will cause drought. His connection with the weather is quite significant. One other similar creature in Slavic mythology is Ala. Ala's appearance is almost identical to Zmai, except it is usually bigger. Ala brings bad weather, hail that could potentially destroy crops, and Zmai is there to protect the crops, in other words, to work in favor of people. Loud thunders were often interpreted as fighting between Zmai and Ala. In Russia and Ukraine, a particular dragon-like creature, Zmei Gorinich, has three heads, is green, walks on two back paws, has small front paws, and spits fire. According to one epic poem, Zmei Gorinich was dragon killed by Dobrinia Nikitich, who was one of the most popular epic heroes of Kievan Rus era. But Zmai wasn't always a stereomorphic creature. In some cases, he could have a human form. Every village could have at least one person who is in all aspects human, but when it needs to, when it is a danger from storm, he then goes to sleep and in his sleep morphs into Zmai. There is one interesting belief which states that Zmai is a great lover and that he loves to quote unquote visit women from the village that he protects. When he comes into the house, he morphs into a man. Woman with whom he had sex would refuse to be touched anymore by any mortal man. From that point on, she only wanted dragon, only Zmai. But there are stories about women who got tired of these hmm, visits from Zmai and tried to find a way to get rid of them. There is a mention of one method that was practiced in Eastern Serbia. Woman would go and burn the hollow tree where the Zmai lives. After the small fire inside a hollow tree burns down, the dragon is killed and only his fat remained. Woman would take that fat, which would protect her from other Zmais who won't come anywhere near if they smell the fat of their dead brother. If the woman bears a child of Zmai, that child would be called Zmaiavodete or Dragon's Child and would inherit wisdom and strength from his father. In some sources it's even mentioned that they themselves, Dragon's children I mean, could become Zmais and have Zmai characteristics. In folk literature, many famous heroes are shown as the children of the Zmai, like for example Miloš Obilić, Strahin Jiban, Vuk Grgurević, also known as Vuk the Fiery Dragon, or Hussein Kapetan Gardaščević, also known as the Dragon of Bosnia. In Slavic folklore, Zmai was generally accepted as highly respected being, and while not always being benevolent, it never was entirely evil creature. One more interesting thing is a coat of arms of the city of Ljubljana in Slovenia, which shows a dragon over the city, protecting it. That's all for now, thank you for watching.